All right. So I apologize once again that video didn't record from the beginning. But right here, I wanted to draw a uh, miner hanging from the wall, and uh, to make it look very dangerous, uh, he he should be looking just like those people when they're cleaning windows so that's why I chose the image never be afraid to use reference like I said before because you can never capture the uniqueness of a person's pose or the environment uh, the way you could when you use the reference because nature is unique so right now I'm sketching out his uh, body position the way he would hang from the wall but instead of the wall he's hanging uh, you know the mining right now and he's right above that hole in there so it's dangerous if anything would break uh, he would actually fall down so I moved him all the way to the left I didn't like it that he was in the center so now I'm adjusting uh, because it was too dark not visible so you're gonna see me actually make him uh, go all the way white and the reason I did that because it's easier for me to differentiate him from the background and then start adding detail to their um, to the silhouette see I'm just in my uh, brush preset a little bit and now I'm painting in the values of a person trying to match the one in the image so whenever you're working with silhouettes make sure that silhouette is uh, very readable because if the silhouette, silhouette is very readable, your character will be as well once you add the detail to it. Now right here I was browsing through the Google trying to find an image of the headlamp, the way it reflects and, uh, and shines everything on the areas so I can implement that into the painting myself. The reason why I erased uh, that hole is because it wasn't directly underneath him so he didn't have that feel of immediate danger so I pushed it back uh, over there to be right underneath him. Now right here you see me adding the glow behind him and the reason for that is because I wanted to push him uh, more uh, in, to add more contrast between him and the background and more atmospheric perspective. Right here you'll see me extending the train tracks and adding more contrast to it and the environment and pushing the highlights and shadows making bigger and better contrasts. The only thing I regret now, I should have actually made a whole lot larger to make it uh, more dangerous. To have the dangerous feel. It looks pretty small, even though it is larger than him. I should have made a larger hole.
right here you'll see me messing around with these uh, right two columns for some reason I didn't like it that much it felt to me as if as if it, it felt to me that it was taken away from the main subject so I was trying to figure out how to lower the contrast and you'll see me actually taking out those two columns all the way and that actually creates better focus on the left side where the minor is right here I was actually trying to add water and I was doing research but I actually ended up scrapping that idea as well so those are the white, white water highlights from the light I'm pretty satisfied the way this um, whole piece turned out and now is the fun part where I'll be adding texture till the rest of the video to everything, stones, um, those columns and but you have to play with the soft light uh, and other uh, options that you have in your layers and the, the key is it cannot be overwhelming so you, to the point that it looks like a uh, photo, photo manipulation that's for matte painting these are just to add the grit uh, you know make the image more sharp and detailed so you have to lower the opacity and whatnot enjoy If you like this tutorial, please like it, subscribe, and share with everybody. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.